Hi, Ben. Hello. How are you? <laughs> yeah, all good, my lovely. Are you ready for In The Zone? I am. We are getting in the zone to listen to In The Zone. <laughs> yes, exactly. And we just reacted to Brittany on Ben's channel. So definitely, definitely, definitely go check that out before you check this one out if you haven't already. Um, yeah. I'm not going to say what we thought about it because you're going to have to go check it out. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get into this right away. I'm super excited. Uh, what do you think? Are you excited, Ben? I am. Ex- I'm excited with that. I guess spoiling Britney. I think a lot of people will be happier than our first two Britney album reactions. Uh, I think that's fair to say. <laughs> yeah, I think we've kind of, we've mulled over that on that video. So we've kind of, we've moved on from that negativity and the backlash that we got and we're trying to, move forward with our lives we're reborn (laughs) so i I am excited for in the zone i'm i guess a bit cautious especially Mm -hmm. if we're gonna say that britney the album was a yeah good album (laughs) yeah either way they would have seen it or they won't if people like the album they'll know it's a good album so i'm eager to see exactly goes with this i don't know if she's gonna go a bit more I don't know, because we said towards the end of that, it got a bit more experimental. So do you, maybe she'll kind of continue that. And I guess, I don't know. That would be interesting. And obviously, like, we know some of the songs, but mm-hmm. there's loads we don't know. So, like, maybe in those songs, there'll be some ones that we end up absolutely loving. Yeah, well, like, <laughs> even the even the one with Madonna, and then she's got Yin Yang twins who... Again, yeah. So, yeah. so again, I think it's yeah. I think it's going to be quite a mixed review album. I reckon definitely. And like, I will say, like, because we're going into song one, me against the music. I know, and I actually really love it. When I was younger, I really didn't like it. I thought, oh, this is boring. But like, as I got older, I was like, oh my god, I love this song. So I, I genuinely like this one. So I'm excited to hear it again. I haven't heard it in a while. Yeah, I think if I've heard, like, I probably would have heard, like, once, years and years. I really don't know, I guess, much about this album. Other than Toxic, that's really the only song that stands out to me. Oh, okay, that's cool, though. Um, Are you ready to get into it? Yes. (laughs) Okay, right, let's go. Me Against the Music Feet Madonna, which is genuinely iconic. That is. So, let's go. Grab a partner, take it down. Me Against the Music. Uh It's just me and me. Me and me. And me. Hey, Brittany. And no one cares. It's with my hair, it's pulling my waist. I like this face. It's like trying to take on the music, it's like a competition. Oh. It's like Bob. Something to show ya, sexy lady. If you think you're so hot, better show me what you got. Come on, Britney, lose control. Watch you take it, take it up. Get on the floor and let it go. See you I wanna see ya. I got it on shuffle <laughs> but yeah oh what? I'm out of breath <laughs> yeah. what did you think yeah, I think that's the most we've like that's probably one of the danciest songs by her that you can kind of really get into like you kind of just don't want to stop moving exactly yeah it's like a constant beat and yeah. feeling but also really good like little shifts in there too like little moments that go oh oh you know when madonna comes in she's like hey britney yes. you make me wanna lose yeah and it's like oh oh it's like a breakdown almost and then yeah. chorus comes back in it's more percussive and then it uh, comes in again but then you've got the other people on the f- 
like the harmony so it does change up a little bit and even though in some ways you could feel like it's like doing the same thing same thing I think it kind of I think it, it gets away with it you know literally I know now I'm gonna <laughs> and everything <laughs> but like <laughs> even throughout that I was like uh it, it's probably a bit long if I'm gonna be critiquing it the way I've critiqued mm. some other music but like you just said I was just like it was again one of, one of the songs we did before I was like uh it's a bit long but I was like uh, I don't care like it's still funky and you still want to have fun with it so again it gets away with it because it is that bit it's cheeky I think it's such a cheeky yeah song. and I think yes. Obviously, I'm reacting to Madonna going, who, so I'm still in the 80s with Madonna, so I'm not even at this point in her yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, that must be really weird then. I'm like in the Twilight <laughs> Zone. But it's cool to, I guess, know what I know about Madonna and then see her with, you know, such an iconic pop star like Britney. I love her, like, saying her name and them having fun. And I, I'm sure there's a video clip to it, and it's probably them just, like, you know, being all sexy and, you know, rocking out with each other. The video? So good. Yeah. Like, I, I love the video. I really do want you to see that at some point. Maybe, you know, you will. Also, you said you're still in the 80s with Madonna. Yes, yeah, so I've just done her fourth album, which has like Like a Prayer. Um, oh, I love Like a Prayer. Cherish. Uh, Express oh, Yourself. I love Cherish. Yeah. I love so Express like, Yourself. Um, Those are my three like faves from that time. Yeah. Um, but when you get to 90s Madonna, I'm genuinely really excited for that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very keen. But it's, it's just awesome to see like how much she's done. And then you realize the influence she really has had on these, you know, pop chicks that are. Absolutely. Like, oh, my gosh. Full on. Um, but yeah, I just love that like the Queen of Pop, Princess of Pop came together to do this song. And like I can imagine, like obviously I was quite young when it came out and I knew it was cool, but I didn't know how iconic it was. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, oh, that's iconic. Oh, it's like if they were doing this in this day and age, it would be beyond. I'm sure it was big back then, but I think yeah. now with social media with and the you internet. Know, yeah. yeah, with these iconic moments, like it would it would just be groundbreaking. I'd break the internet. Exactly. Company. Yeah. I just love things like that. I do. I do love it when you get like a big, like, you know, collab like yeah. that, because it's just so like sometimes unexpected. It's like a dream sort yeah. of thing. And I can imagine being, say, if I was a teenager in 2003 and I love like all oh, the pop, I, I did love Madonna and Britney, but I was younger, mm -hmm. you know, I would have been like, oh my God, it's a bit like when Lady Gaga and Beyonce came together because yeah. I was like, I know you're not in love with Beyonce, but like, I did it, like it was still... that. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> so, like, when that like epicness came about, it was kind of like a big deal, you know, it was like, oh my God, like two massive pop stars coming together. Well, it was like you when know. Ben Schatz and Fern Stone collabed together for the first time. That was just. <laughs> <laughs> so true. They're just the biggest. That's that's better than Madonna, Britney, all of yeah, them. That's the multiverse. Go down in history. <laughs> exactly. But um, yeah, so we both like the song. Should we move on? Yeah, I'm keen for this next one featuring Ying Yang Twins. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. Ah. So I'm excited. Right, let's do it. Shout it! We finna go to the club and get crunk with Britney. Hey! Oh my god, that's scared oh. me. Hey. Got a bit of a breakbeat hey. sound. Hey. I'll just pause it a minute. Sorry, Ben. But um, it's got a breakbeat sound, and a breakbeat sound is a very, very, very old, like, uh, it's like before hip hop came about. Mm -hmm. It was like a 70s thing and it's like what started hip hop really like breakbeat and so on like that and then breakdancing came along and all of those things. So I do kind of like that about it but I think let's if, keep going. I think if it stays in this realm I'm going to not like it but I'm well that yeah. <laughs> I'm not keen on the um all the oh like, yeah like yeah. yeah I'm not keen on that. Yeah. But the breakbeat is the only thing that stood out that stood out to me because I was like, oh, I like that there's breakbeat, but I'm not come I don't know. Let's just keep going. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> it's very of its time. It's for all those southern boys out there.
I think it's my favorite bit. Yeah. To get to know you. It's nearly five minutes. I just skipped to the end because it, it was just going to do the same thing and we're clearly not enjoying it. Wow. It kind of feels like, um, I don't know if you ever listened to the Spice Girls third album. I don't know about album numbers, but I used to love Spice Girls when I was younger. So the first one. You I know, know they're singles. So yeah, like Wannabe's on the first one, Spice Up Your oh. Life second one and then the second one is very r&b but like it's very again oh. that moment and i mean this is a few years after but it just feels like again yeah uh, one song but it's just when artists try and do a genre of music that it's not really them I, that, but that's what it feels like and i feel like around like the time of 2003 to 2008 or nine there was so many like pop singers doing features yeah. and it with like um rappers and stuff and whereas some of them were like really good like i love glamorous by fergie yeah. um like i love that and i think it worked with ludicrous and stuff it like you know sometimes when you're younger you'd have like the feature and you'd be like oh yeah it's kind of cool you know but this one felt like forced yeah you know it didn't a new song well that's it like with it didn't it actually didn't i don't really like the whole like um shawty <laughs> It just became like ironic towards the end. It's just like shout I like you just say yeah. it. Gonna, and it was yeah. super like sexual. Yeah, I, I'm not a super big fan of dudes with that kind of lyrical content. Um, so no, like, nah, not my vibe. I'm not a fan of that type of music. I love like I love Nicki Minaj. You know, I I I like. Yeah. Girls. Unfortunately, I'm yeah. I don't know, very biased in that sense. I prefer women singers. That's just you know. Who yeah, I yeah. I don't know. It did it too long. It didn't feel like an actual genuine collaboration. Whereas coming after Madonna and Britney, they felt like they were like sisters singing this song together, girl gang going out. And then to come as a second song, it's just, again, I, and maybe that's what I was, I guess, a bit cautious of to begin with. It's like, is this just going to be everyone jumping on board and trying to do whatever they want with the album? I don't know. Yeah, definitely. I, and I got that feeling too, that feeling of like, say if it said 50 Cent on it, like yeah. right you'd go well he's really well known like everyone knows him so i think they would have had a very fair share of who they are yeah but the i've personally not heard of yin yang twins mm -hmm. i don't know if they were really popular or anything but you know i haven't heard well, of I, them i just hope they're not going to appear on x factor in a few years and you know freak written <laughs> out like that weird dude did on that other album oh yeah what was his name again i, I no remember idea. i sent that to you because i was like <laughs> when we reacted to it we were like oh god who is this guy so i was like i'm gonna type look him up and then this x factor thing came up and i was like oh <laughs> my god <laughs> truly terrifying it literally was but um yeah i didn't love it it didn't feel like a britney song um i deleted it it was shit yeah yeah i didn't like it at all but i don't think that's gonna let the album down i just feel feel like that was like a weird moment like yeah i think so I, mean? I think it was uh, it's gonna be yeah like this even on the last album there's one song we were like uh yeah i mean that yeah. one was still better yeah. than this one but there was still that moment oh like, yeah you kind of pulled us out. Yeah, of this one's worse than that one, definitely. And it's placed too God. soon. Like to pull us already out of the moment that we're kind of falling into. Like, and now we're like, oh, so what where why are we going with now? Because the album Literally. is yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm hope it gets better. Me too. Right. Should we do it then? Showdown. Yeah. Showdown. I like that, the bubbly sound. Girls gotta do. 
song like that the uh, yeah. very cool yes oh my god i'm really glad yeah she's saying really what goes around, around comes around and i'm like is that a like subtle hint at justin maybe goes around, goes around. i don't know if that's after or before yeah maybe that's oh. after. well i might look when i edit i might look into that yeah because like that would be kind of interesting wouldn't it oh my god i loved it i thought it was really fun yeah, very like, and like we said, like very experimental, mm. just like that did so many different elements going into it. And you just were like, oh my God, this is so funky. Literally, I love the whole beat, boop, boop, like, boop, 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 and it's like, boop, boop. <laughs> you know, yeah. like all the like popping sound. <laughs> Sorry, I always try and replicate it and it doesn't always go right. But, um, and then the random guitar bit, like, yeah. you know, I was like, Ooh. and then the reverse vocal yeah that was like, sick. like 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 almost like sucking you yeah. out the thing yeah yes oh yeah. yes ben it was literally like that so you're like and yeah. you get thrown back in like yeah. oh yeah like i had a tide to it yeah <laughs> but i loved it i really really yeah. loved it i thought it was cool fun and i'm really happy that like um we got to feel that again after the boom boom song it yeah. didn't like go on like a series of like oh no it was like oh no we're back you know yeah, and different it, back and different yeah it just shows it's like that coming after me against the music would just been a, such a better transition I think like that boom one really just was so misplaced yeah literally even if the boom one was a deluxe track I know it wouldn't be with a feature like you know but yeah. I mean I don't know it's hard I feel bad about the boom boom one I just it also, doesn't really have a Britney feel. Isn't not is it not a sample of boom boom? Let me hear you say way or I swear that like boom boom bit is that. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe a boom boom boom. Yeah, maybe I'll look into that as well when I'm editing. I'm giving because I always do stuff like that. Oh, that's all right. I I love looking into things like when I'm editing. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I do it during the video, and then I'm like, oh, it's been half an hour. I should probably uh, <sighs> stop, and then I just cut out like a huge chunk of like. I'm like, that's why I get bad back. Because I'm sat here for three hours. <laughs> yeah, should we do Breathe On Me? Yes, I'm keen. <laughs> Breathe On Me. Yeah. <sighs> right, let's start. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that's hard. Ooh, it's so hot and I need some air. Say. Baby, stop because I'm halfway there. Ah. We 
Does sound different? I just want to start by saying her vocal was really different. Mm. It was like softer in a way without the, uh, it yeah. had like a, uh, like sm- oh. it was smooth. Mm-hmm. Um, and even though like, like that was like a really sexual song, but it was really in that. I really like that kind of sexual sound because it's like very like um, purposeful and it's intimate, Yeah, you know, and I yeah I I really like that and the way it felt was ethereal. Yeah yeah like you said hypnotic and just I think that's probably one of her best songs I've heard by her. Honestly, so good and like it was, it felt maturer as well yeah. from her. Um and it reminded me of um, first of all it reminded me of Madonna in her like I you haven't got to I guess the nine I think some of her ninety stuff is kind of. Mm sexual in some parts i can't remember exactly but um there are moments where it sounds very i guess similar to this and it also reminded me of lady gaga sex dreams oh yeah yeah. last night i was thinking yeah yeah even kind of um, like kylie minogue which is which makes sense with that madonna kind of vibe within that yeah in the 2000s so kylie yeah oh my god even the vocal yeah yeah Ben, you nailed that one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And like, um, you know, before when she was saying like sexual stuff in like her early albums, we were a little bit like, oh, it doesn't feel right. But this felt to me, it felt right. It actually did. Yeah, well, it was like sexual, but again, like you said, it was like intimate and it sounded more yes. like a love song rather yes. than, you know, let's just get let's get a hoe on and you know, whatever kind of vibe. Exactly. It was like a between two people moment of, yeah. of love and intimacy. And who yeah. doesn't like that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy. This is going well. I love that song. Love. I'm Ben and I'm happy. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> That's trademark. Yeah, imagine if I say that now every time I'm happy. I'm like, yay, I'm Ben and I'm happy. <laughs> My lawyer will be. <laughs> <laughs> trademark. Can you imagine if you trademark that? God. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> and I trademark my wonderful spirit guides. Yeah, you should. Okay, are you ready for early morning? Yes, just she's breathed on him. Now it's early morning. Oh, better not breathe now with your what? morning breath. <laughs> 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 right, let's go. Early morning. Oh, I was a little late last night. Huh? Oh. I was shaking my ass in the streets. Come here, kind of cool, baby. We can make plans. 
Okay, I just really wanted to say it's definitely capturing the kind of like Christian Aguilera dirty vibe. Yeah, I've never, I have you know I mean? Uh... Oh, okay. Because like it feels very much, I think it's the same, definitely the same around the same time. But this one, when Christian Aguilera did dirty, like that just fits so well, perfect. But mm. I'm not sure if I'm enjoying like this one because Breathe on Me was so intimate and nice. Uh... This one's like, it's just taking it away. Yeah, she did this weird little laugh, and I have a feeling that laugh is a sample in Give Me More. Ooh. And you're going to have to Google that because it definitely sounds like it was like, <laughs> you know how she does it in one yeah, of the yeah. thing, And then there's this weird noise. It's like, bzz, it's almost like a, one of those fly buzzers. I don't know if you guys have them. They're like, we're flies flying. Oh, a light. I know what you mean. The electric thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. There, like it's like a zzz or something. Um, <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's weird. The verses don't sound like her either. It sounds like another chick. No. Yeah, exactly. I think that's why I thought of Christina as well. But um, I, what I will say is though, I, I do kind of like the feeling of the music. I, I don't hate the, the music. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, after having something intimate and kind of like, wow, it, I don't know what I think of the lyrical content or the feeling in that way, but yeah. I do really enjoy the sound. So I'm just, I guess I'm going with it. Yeah, I love that. I love yeah, that. me love too. It. Yeah, I love. I think we're similar in the sense that we like sounds that like make you feel like you're moving yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Should we go? Yeah. I like that as well. Like different. as i as we went into it actually mm-hmm. like I, I definitely didn't love the song but i i kind of liked it you know i was intrigued by it i was interested by it little moments i was like oh that's kind of cool that's kind of nice the feeling's nice there was something there that i wasn't loving and maybe because like you said just now it didn't sound all you know some moments didn't even sound like britney mm. That chorus, it sounded like a different person. Yeah, I think um, the production was like the best part of the song. It hundred percent was. I really liked the production, and, and I, I'm like trying to imagine if she did something, like said something else or did something else with the vocal with that production, would it have been cooler? Because oh yeah, because it almost like you said, like it got that. It, it could have been like a bit of a scary, a witchy kind of song. That like, I don't know, like something yeah. or like a horror kind of, or like a murder kind of storyline or something that just had a bit more depth to it where it just was kind of lacking that oomph from the lyrical content. Yeah, that's it. And like, you know, there were moments where with what I was seeing, I was imagining her coming home from a night out, obviously, and in the morning and the sunlight's coming through and there's like the sofa and she's like just throws her keys or like or whatever she's got in her hand, obviously not driving, drunk driving, hopefully. But, you know, like I could see her throwing something onto like the sofa and just like you know being like you yeah. know relaxing but and it had that like um sunlight coming through a bit like the slave for you video with like the lighting mm-hmm. of that i'm not sure if you've seen slave for you video uh, oh, like, okay uh-huh. <laughs> yeah like mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> but um yeah it's got like a golden kind of light to it and yeah, okay. so i found it like cute and fun in that way like i was like oh that's nice but like it wasn't it's not very, it's, it lacked substance, I feel. Yeah, and I felt the production was quite dark in comparison. Like it just, yeah. like, I think like we said, it just needed a darker yeah. storyline. 
Yeah, that would have been cool. But I really liked the production. Liked the production. I would probably listen to production on its own without any vocals. In my head, I was like, I wonder if you could like just hearing the production without it. I think it would just use such a cooler vibe. Like just exactly. Like, a cool, like if you edited down and just you know maybe got rid of the few of the beats and the vert, like you know, and then had it as an mm. input, that would be sick. Yeah, literally, literally, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. So didn't hate it, didn't love it, but did like the production. Didn't love the singing bits, but all together. I think we liked it more than didn't like it. So that's yeah, I listened to it. I listened to it again, like an easy song. Yeah. To do. Oh, absolutely. Okay, now it's a song that um we clearly don't know. Um, <laughs> toxic. I don't know if you've heard of it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I know toxic people, but <laughs> oh, tell me about it. <laughs> Some people might think we're toxic, to be honest. But <laughs> I think we're beautifully toxic. Oh. But she do it? Yeah, let's do it. And by the way, just in case you don't get the sarcasm, we do know the song. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. All right, let's go. Baby, can't you say I'm calling the warning? It's dangerous. I'm flying. There's no escape. I do love that song. It weirdly doesn't fit the album to me. Now, the only thing I think, Lee, it's, I guess, like, you understand the instrumental more from the album because this one has something like that. And it's, like, it's got some cool... It's probably yeah. like, quite experimental in terms of, like, a pop song, I would say. Like, Yeah, I know what you right? mean. Like, especially with the... Wah! Yeah, I, I love that bit. That's, again, it's, like, moving. It's, like... Wah! Like you're just like going yes, around, like exactly, yeah, and like you can really picture like uh something happening there. You know yeah. what I mean as well, yeah. like a big like almost epic action moment. I can't remember if yeah. there's something like that on the video or if I'm being crazy. No, I think it definitely doesn't. Like it's almost like all the songs leading up to it, other than the first one, it's almost like they're B sides, and this is like the showstopper. Which again, like yeah. a lot of albums have those songs that you know stand out but this one is just so well produced you're like how are the yeah. other yes stand it by now yeah like, what fifth album fourth fourth album absolutely yeah. it definitely feels like one that they put so much into so much effort into they knew it was gonna they're like we're gonna make this one a single because i find like with most albums they make songs and then they pick what the single's gonna be kind of after they made it or maybe they do a few that could be a single and then they choose but this feels like they they really think about the singles first rather than the rest of the songs and like with and like, a, like dead center in the middle it's almost like this is like there and the others are almost like the support just to kind of lead up to yeah. it it's gonna be interesting to see yeah. how it goes because i'm like well yeah you, toxic is very like big amazing and like to be honest I'm, i i don't I'm not even hating on that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm kind of like, that's cool. Like, some of the other ones we did before, remember the t- first two songs were yep. the great ones? Then yep. it went, like, down a little bit. But 
I guess that placement's not so bad. Like I kind of like that being in the middle, you know, um, the, the Madonna one start and then the middle was toxic. You yeah. know what I mean? And then, um, like I said to you before, like the every time one is song number 12, that's got 110 million listens and that's another popular one. So they've gone yeah. like dun, dun, dun. No, and, so, then, and maybe that's like we've led up to Toxic and now the next few songs will, I guess, lead up to the every time. Because, yeah, all the songs that we like the production on, it kind of makes, when you hear Toxic, you're like, ah, oh, yeah. so kind of like what they were going for. And then Toxic's the mainstream version of those weird sounds that we've heard. Yeah. I definitely think this is one of the better albums with um uh, song placement. Yeah, like sure. other than boom power, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> like it definitely Oh uh, yeah, I ignored that. It it, it it's not yeah, it flows, but the songs are quite different, but it still works. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yes. They are different, aren't they? It's like yeah. it's like she's really mixed up here. Like Showdown had like a really cool I mean, I guess we could talk about this at the end, so you know, I don't want to go into the whole thing now. Yeah. But right. Love toxic. Never won't love it. Um, should we do outrageous? Outrageous. I think I do know this one. Um, just because when it went outrageous, da -dun -da -dun -da -dun, out I think I remember that sound. So yeah, let's go. Outrageous when I'm at a party. Outrageous when I'm sexy jeans. Outrageous when I'm on the scene. By far the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> So that's oh, that's like Indian vibes, right? That you, like I felt like it had like an Egyptian or, yeah, or that's like exactly what I was going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's definitely. I know what you're saying though. It's written uh, by R. Kelly. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Um, moving on. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, when I thought, I was like, oh, that's such a cool song. Yeah, that, oh, God, some of those feelings in it. But obviously, like, bad people can make good creations yeah. or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Good people make bad creations. So, yeah, that is very true. Yeah. I liked everything. I actually hated the bridge. It was so out of place. Yeah, I was like, I kind of, I would have liked it just to almost be like one note and just kind of flow. It's almost like a mirage, like, it just appears and then disappears. I, love I guess that. that makes sense if it's Egyptian. <laughs> I know, like, you now know the desert. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love that, but no, now you've made it sound cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you mean. It went all like kind of. It took away from the kind of a you know kind of Egyptian feel and yeah. went into like a tropical. It went to like a soda pop feeling or something. Yeah. I did kind of like that one though. Like yeah, I did I, like I it. it. I like the lyrics, yeah. also, like talking about the media, like everyone, like already mm -hmm. kind of throwing those real life stuff into a song that you would not think is an American song or American vibe at all. So it's kind of cool yeah. the worlds colliding. Yeah, definitely. And also, like, um, she hasn't done a lot of like talking about the media and stuff in this album, the Britney album. It, it was so like that. Yeah. And so it's interesting that we do have one on here a bit like it, you know. So. Um, yeah, I liked it. And there, there were moments where I was like, not, I don't know, I maybe zoned out a little bit 
I don't, but maybe I wasn't zoned out. I think I was just really thinking about all the sounds. Yeah, that's I mean. It was, it was just, like, yeah. Like, you just like, went with a beat. It was quite hypnotic. Exactly. I think that's what was happening. Because I wasn't thinking about other stuff. I was just like, <laughs> you know, and I, I say to you, like, uh, in my videos sometimes, sometimes like, because, you know, I have synesthesia. Um, sometimes I, instead of just listening, it feels like I'm watching the song. Ooh. So like. Yeah, and there'll be moments where something like this, where it has lots of little details that are like, um, and each instrument felt almost compartmentalized, mm -hmm. but together because you know you got boom, ba dum, and then, boom, boom. yeah, and then and like that other little thing always like kind of. Yeah. I was like, oh, there it is. Exactly, and then the bang sound. Yeah. Um, because they're so like they're not all blended in like this ethereal thing. They're like almost you know segmented. Mm -hmm. I can watch them very like easily so it's like detailed and i'm like oh that's cool so i think i end up just going <laughs> like, watching it you think know what i mean so yeah. she's thinking, then like, i forget like, where i am and then she's like get on the pole shake my ass and you're just like uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> i'm like Yes, I can see a snake-like pole. <laughs> no, I with things like that i'm just like let's just yeah. Shut off the senses. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a mean way. I'm just joking around, but you know. I liked it though. I like that song. Me too. Outrageous. Okay. Now we've got Touch of My Hand. Where is she touching so we, girl? We had, hmm, exactly. We had Breathe on me. Now we're we're moving towards touch now. Okay, slowly progressing. I wonder <laughs> if we're gonna exactly. you know. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go. Love that. Mind your skins. Wait, sorry, I'm going to pause. So, you know Skins, the show? Oh, yeah. The intro, it had like that sound, but it's like, like it was all like weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know which, like, did you watch all the seasons or like first season? Only like a few of the first, like the original. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, it reminded me of like the sound they the music they would use that yeah. like a reversed weird kind of yeah, sound love that, noise. love that sound yeah also skins was like filmed like two hours away from me which is so cool oh. i've been there so many times but um i'll go back to the beginning right yeah. let's let's go <laughs> That I dream I find myself flirting With the verge of obscene He says I can be Out of control To explain tonight I shut myself out From the world So I Then I teach myself to fly I love I said just Song really suits the album cover. That's like her best song. Yeah, like that was literally like 
I think you remember before there was that song that we said, oh, it had like a bit of a Chinese kind of yeah. thing to it. It had that tranquil yeah. feeling again where you could almost see yourself like, in this beautiful tranquil garden and it's like birds flying and like, yeah. you know, like doves and stuff yeah it was like it's the sound was like quintessential like 90s but it like had all these bands and like not that they said but like the cores like i don't know all those weird sounds just came like that's honestly her perfect song and the lyrics absolutely could be you know, an anthem for like an LGBTQIA plus person because you know, mm. she's like I kept... wasn't even really listening to lyrics. Oh uh, yeah, it's so... like hiding from secrets. I've been so long with that lover, so I understand because I think a lot of you know queer people understand yes. or they explore sexual stuff within themselves more so than with people to begin with because obviously it's you oh, know absolutely. depending on the type of person you are or where you live, it probably is a bit harder. So you probably have to experiment with yourself a lot more so oh like, of course yeah so I was like oh that's so interesting I, I I wasn't I think I was so like caught off by all the everything yeah. else that I wasn't even like fully following the lyrics and that's happened a few times on this album where I've just like kind of got trapped in the um production I don't mind that yeah yeah um but now that you said the words are like that that's that just makes it even better oh absolutely but the production absolutely that's the best production on the album for me so beautiful and her voice was so guess what as well not too many crazy runs up here and there she's not yeah. overdoing it she did it she fit the theme she really yeah. embodied the the moment Do you, who wrote it um she's actually on it there's a few people um oh, good. so there's her bail and muhammad jimmy harron and shepherd solomon never heard of them mm, but yeah, I, like, I don't know them but they've like, done well but just even like the auto tune, like it was perfect. Like it just it added the effect that you needed. And again, it did that. Like it was almost like a grungy kind of vibe. Like so nineties. Like it was just a perfect capsule of that time. It was really nineties. It reminded me a bit of like um, you know the song Overground. Watch this space. I'm open. You, I don't know, but you might look at look it up. It's called a spy snarky. No, no. Sneaker pimps. I can't remember what the name is, but it has that like, yeah, serialness yeah. and like, the and it's like sounds. Yeah, it's such a ninety song soundtrack song, like mm. cruel intention. You know, it just had. It's just that real yes, essence. Yes, like it yes. would be somewhere in those movies. Yeah, or like I can imagine it on like um like Buffy the Vampire or something. I was just <laughs> about to fucking say, or like Buffy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, yeah, but you can, you like can feel the, that, right? At the bronze or something like the yes, yeah, like someone dancing with a vampire. Yeah, oh my god, literally that. <laughs> oh my god, I I wonder if there's a video for it. If there isn't, there needs to be. Yeah. But um, it was so beautiful, and like you know, I said it suited the album cover, and the reason I said that is because the whole song to me was blue. It was yeah. so blue, yeah, and like blue and white, yeah. and like it's because it was so beautiful and ethereal you could it blue to me and that pale blue is a very ethereal color so yeah, yeah. it made sense so oh i love that one yeah it's such a cool and like it's pretty much on the money with what i thought it was going to be like it is very it, this is not a pop album really it's very like we want to try different things and i guess see what lands and you can see You're why so pop right about was that. released this is but yeah while it's had a few like a oh, one dud like it's so different mm. to Britney. Like Britney, yeah, it's like a pop album, whereas this one feels like an underground artist. Like this doesn't feel like yes, Beers has released this literally. Album. Yeah, she's like because like with Britney, um, obviously it was like a pop album, and, it, and to be honest, we really enjoyed it. Like you know, I think we're far enough into the album now <laughs> to be able to say that. You know, we did really enjoy it, and but then now this one's come about, and it has maybe I don't love as many songs so far mm-hmm. however the songs i do like i really really love you know i'm oh, really enjoying yeah. the production yeah and it's just it feels so much more mature let's do are you ready yeah the hookup let's go it's a dance day baby i can't believe everything your body make me want to do Bitch, my hips on the floor Then the snow so keep up Yo. with you Tonight I'm 
good time. If that's the long, what's your body that's where I move now? Just get, get on the floor. Butt drops, hips pop, pop, and the show. Who's got, got it? Get it some more. Grab my waist, get it some more. Okay. No. Like, I have to say, there were parts in it that, like, the I did kind of like some of the instrumental bits, but mm-hmm. I didn't like uh, the song. <laughs> <laughs> like, the song. How can, it was just come from touching my hand. Like, are you serious? Well, that's, I kept thinking that. Literally, what I kept thinking was like, how do you go from that to this? It, and there's been quite a lot of songs now that are very much like, come on, let's touch my waist and let me shake uh, my booty. And like, that's cool. But like, you don't have to say it like five times. Yeah. You know, like. It definitely had, you know, those cultural influences that a lot of the other songs had and they landed really well. And I think they probably had a nicer uh, production and then maybe the lyrics carried through. And with this one, you definitely could feel that, you know, it had some cultural influence. It just didn't land as well as the ones that I don't know like and maybe it was too disjointed or maybe we just didn't understand the cultural that all the references that they were giving us I don't know it just it didn't land as well for me as the others had yeah I totally agree with that um and yeah the whole feel of it it didn't feel like she fit it as well as she no. fit like the other songs on the album in, in general um and yeah it just didn't feel I guess right like it didn't have like a nice Mm. feeling to it. I, I definitely was zoning out on that one I was not yeah and it'd be interesting to see that I guess what people think of this album looking back you know 20 years later because there is a lot of different you know cultural references and things like that so yeah yeah now I guess how it would be um like take what's that word like taken consumed received, or like received. oh yeah 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 <laughs> yeah like, it'd be interesting to see how it's received now like looking back on it um yeah, it'd just be interesting to... Yeah, that is actually interesting because obviously we've said in the last, you know, a uh, few songs or what, I can't remember how many songs it was, but we're like, oh, it sounds a bit Egyptian. Oh, it sounds a bit, you know, Chinese or Japanese, like whatever, you know, it is. But we're also, also I just want to say this, like we are two white people saying, yeah. oh, it sounds like this, sounds like that. But we're, so we're not of any of those cultures or origins. So it'd be interesting to see what people who are from those origins, cultures, yeah. think of this. Do they think it's a cultural appreciation or do they find it a little bit like yeah i don't like it i I, i'm interested to know because obviously it well it could be good for us to learn too you know what what do you think so i think yeah i'm 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 very interested in what people think of that same Um, and that's the thing because there are so many different well for me they sound like a lot of different you know origins or cultures kind of on each song so it would mm -hmm. be interesting to see i guess what's people's perception of it being so eclectic Exactly. Oh, yeah, exactly. That too. But I would have to say the hookup felt a little bit like not as congealed or like good mm. together. It didn't feel so um, nothing, not even not just talking about the cultural stuff. I mean, just talking about the feeling of it. It was a bit boring to me. I didn't like yeah. enjoy it. What I will say, though, moving to a different kind of thing. Um, like that little sound that would play Um, I can't remember what it did but um, I reacted to Clarence Clarity's album and um, he takes a lot of influence from like the 90s early 2000s sort of music and I could definitely hear him sampling that and like putting it in his songs which I found really cool because like it was interesting hearing a modern album sampling stuff like this and seeing the influence yeah. again. And so I did kind of like that, like just for that reason. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely not a song that I would probably listen to again. No, if that was the hookup, I would be out of that door <laughs> saying, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> yeah, right. Should we move on to Shadow? Yes, let's go with Shadow. You give a little love, love, like this. I'm watching you disappear. It's only a shadow, never yourself. It's only a shadow, I'm leaving too soon. The way it goes, 
fuck up. It's so like sharp the way it came through. Do you know what I was thinking through it? Is my shirt backwards? Can you does that read straight or is it mirrored? <laughs> I can see it says Tommy Jeans, like normal. Yeah, to me it looks that's what I was thinking during that song. If that that sums up what I thought, I guess. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um I what I will say is I kind of liked the verses mm-hmm. and I liked the way mm-hmm. the choruses ended, mm-hmm. but I didn't like the chorus. No, nah, like and I get like it's a nice song, but just like, oh, I yeah. don't know. It was just like, speed it up. Touch of my hand still so much more. Oh, gorgeous. God. Like, yeah. And like, I liked how we had, like, it had that wave moment. Like, we kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, again, it wasn't a bad song. Like, I absolutely would still choose that over the hookup and boom, boom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, definitely. It's just like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, just whatever. like, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, should we move on? Because yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have much to say about it. No. Right. Next, next song is called Brave New Girl. Uh, That's such a funny song. Yeah. Brave, Brave New Girl. That's me. Yes. <laughs> right. Let's do it. Oh, sorry. I'm going to pause a minute because my Spotify isn't like the, the little bit at the bottom doesn't move at the time if that makes sense i press play and it stays on zero and i'm like okay i like to know when a song's ending yeah right okay it's being good now The same dude that Josh Schwartz, he's the same guy that wrote those real bubblegum, that bubblegum one from last album, which makes absolute sense. Complete sense. But the difference with this is like, I kind of liked it because it made me nostalgic for like, yeah. like almost like a Lizzie, Gu- Lizzie McGuire movie or like, you know, it was very... Like Uptown um, Girls, Clueless, yes, like all I that. Uptown type. Girls. Yeah, same. I love Brittany Murphy's like, oh, I love her so much. Yeah, so good. Sad, R.E.P. But, um, oh, my God. Yeah, that was crazy. And there was bits in it that I don't know. Do you know who Gary Newman is? No. Nah. Okay, so he did a song goes, Here in my car, I feel safest of all. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it had that very, like, electronic moment in the pre-chorus. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's, that's weird. And then it burst into this, like, bright like super chick flick moment i wonder if it was made for a film or yeah it definitely like... fits that because like the intro as it going i was like oh this is a bit like weird and then it hit into yeah. that like, it's so generic yeah. pop girl chick but just completely so... yeah i could imagine it on like every movie of that like chick flick movie of that time and like for some reason i guess that's why i liked it because it had a nostalgia feeling yeah, to it I like, that, like... like so easy li- like easy listening but still fun like better than shadow is that the one we where what was shadow yeah I can't what it sounded like but you know how it was like 
What was Shadow? Oh, oh no, that was a, that was not part of it. <laughs> that was just now, yeah. The one before this, <laughs> that thing. Remember, we just kind of went, okay, next. Yeah, it, yeah. So while it, <laughs> easy listening but fun, I think it, it was just yeah. a fun song. Yeah, and I and it was like the one from the Britney um, yeah. one, but I like this one more than that one. Yeah, same. This one had a bit of yeah. to it. Yeah. Okay, so the next song is called Every Time. I know this song, and um, you might when you hear it. Yeah, but, I, um, I think, is this the one that she sings live? There's this song that she sings live, and I don't know what it is, but I think it might be this. It might be, yeah, because I'm not entirely sure, but I do remember, like, when it came out, it I, I don't know if I'm being crazy, but I feel like it was like a really like big moment. It was like a real like everyone loved the song, felt connected to the song. You know, it was like meaningful for people and felt connected to Britney in that way. But I don't know, I could be crazy and making this up in my head, but like I feel like that was a thing. But I guess I'll listen and we'll see. It might be terrible now we listen to it but i remember i liked it well yeah and it's the last song so she's wrapping it up with a like a ballad i suppose yeah literally so ready let's go Two under the delicateness. Yeah, she wrote that with just one other chick, just her and this other girl. I love that. Well, I guess that's why um, I thought it was personal. Yeah, um, I swear this song. I, like, I'm pretty sure it's that song. Like she mimes her whole concert, but there's this one song where she sits on like this. Well, this is old, but back in the day, like, and she sung a song. I'm pretty sure it's that one that she sings live. Uh, makes sense. And like, hear me out. Hear me out. I don't know who the other girl is that she wrote it with, and don't tell me yet. But like, it might not be anyone I know, but it feels like a rock musician could have made that. Like, and I say that because it gives me weirdly this weird evanescence feeling to it. Like it's got like this, and every time I fall, da, 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 da. you could see it like this yeah. big production with rock and it goes, and then in the bridge, da, da, yeah. Yeah, I you know, can you could so hear that. Yeah. And you can imagine like these, like it's like a, it's still a ballad, but mm. it's like like a power the, ballad. The structure, yeah, yeah. The structure had something kind of rocky or gothic or whatever to yeah. it. Um, but they've obviously made it very sweet and delicate and stuff like and I love that about music how like oh uh, yeah you know when they do rock versions of pop songs or you know it's so cool that you can do things like that and mm -hmm. with that I could really hear it 
And um, also the other thing is when I was listening, I could picture the music video. And I think the music video really does enhance the song as well. So maybe look at it after or something yeah. if you wanted to. It um, sounded, um, the kinda... piano is almost like a ballerina box, like thing, like, you know how it's like, yeah, not like the full-on song, but just this almost that sound vibe of, yeah, like real. It's absolutely yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, it really is. Like, she's wound it up and then, like, yeah, like ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I thought they've made it sound like that completely. Oh, my God. I really like it when you pick up on little things like yeah. that, that I haven't, because I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I love it. Um, What did you think about it being an ending song? I was just about to go... I love the song. What a weird way to wrap up because that's it. The album's done. And you're just like, yeah, what a weird, like weird trip we've just been on because starting from that song with Madonna to end to kind of go through the journey, like, yeah, weird album, like a weird album. I agree. I really agree. And I guess like, it's funny that it's called In The Zone because it's like. It's, yeah, like what zone? <laughs> the yeah, twilight. like the, the twilight zone. <laughs> Literally, though, it has, it's been all over the place. And I would personally have to say the Britney album was more cohesive. Agreed. And, like, yeah, it just, like, it worked so much better, like, as an album. Um, but this one had some songs that I really loved, mm -hmm. but then some that I really just wouldn't hear again. And I felt like it was kind of going back to that moment of, like, trying to fit the um, vibe of the the year 2003 yeah, you know like trying almost to... yeah there wasn't a, it wasn't a stronger identity as britney like the album britney you that's like, it oh and this one is like a cool like obviously every artist can experiment and you know they're not always yes. about a stellar album but knowing that i guess she doesn't always write the songs and things like that you're like oh it yeah. does definitely and knowing that blackout's next because obviously it's 2003 and a few Ooh. time you know there's going to be that real public um yes you know downplay of her uh i guess mental health and that so it's interesting to see how it's this is oh yeah i don't know how i'm trying to explain it. like weird to see like yeah the album is like doesn't feel cohesive and doesn't feel i guess specifically her and then i guess in the next few years it really all just falls apart which is yeah well exactly actually that's so interesting because yeah this is the last album before it kind of falls apart yeah so it's kind of telling in a way and like do you know what with Britney it went from with the Britney album it was like oh I really feel like she's got a, even on the song she didn't write I feel like she had a say in it yeah. it felt like she's almost hitting her like peak of becoming mm -hmm. who she is and expressing who she is and then something happened mm. where the next album almost as parts where it got sucked back in again like taken away from her again yeah. there were some songs that were very her but there were also some that really didn't feel like her. Yeah. So it felt like she was losing a bit of her, you know, control over her stuff yeah. again. I'd be interested to see what people, again, like big fans, because I know a lot of people who still love Britney, they did say their first two weren't like, you know, within their top Britney. Yeah. So I'm interested. I think Britney yeah. ranked quite high in terms of like what people love. This one, though, I think is probably, I'm going to, not not to give it that type of, credit as a gaga art pop but i think it will divide mm -hmm. people because there are some incredible songs in this album as a whole I I would go, mm, it's an okay album but the songs yeah. that were amazing i think are some of the best of her career i literally couldn't agree more like i really really freaking loved um well we both love touch of um oh my hand That's and i loved breathe on me too yeah and showdown was good there's there's a lot that were like and like me against toxic. the music, like yeah, me oh, against the music, toxic yeah. showdown, breathe on me, mm. outrageous was cool. Like I still, oh yes, 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 yes. I touch my hand. So we, I mean, we like like seven or eight songs out of twelve. So it's you know, we like that's pretty good. Yeah, I, <laughs> Do you I mean that's quite good. normal, really. Yeah. And the only ones we didn't want, like, um, like sorry, are the ones that like um, I guess didn't feel very Britney, and mm. well, that isn't that fair. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the kind of fair. just wasn't there. Like they weren't as yeah. cool as the others. But touch my hand is at, like I can't believe. Again, like I always struck that people don't talk about 
the I'm like, so why are we not talking about this? Why is it always just give me more in peace of me? And while they're iconic in pop culture and, you know, yeah. they're incredible, like Touch on My Hand is absolutely like a queer anthem. Like you could absolutely. Oh, my that. gosh. Yes, yeah. I know. I can't wait to look into the lyrics properly on that one. Mm-hmm. And also I wanted to just quickly say when like I'm saying like, Oh, it doesn't sound like Britney. I that I'm definitely not putting like artists in a box where they have to sound yeah. like themselves the whole time. But uh, what I'm trying to say is like, I don't even think she felt like Britney mm. doing it. You know, I, I I mean I can't speak for her, but like I can't. When you've got songs like "Touch of My Hand," which sounds so gorgeous, or "Toxic" even, which is so Britney, yeah. Like, um, and then you've got ones like "The Hookup." I'm like, I don't know, like. But, I, you know, it's hard to... Yeah. And I think, you can't even like different music and just... Yeah, I think it's even yeah. like, regardless of if it was or wasn't, and, you know, people are going to have their opinion. Yeah, she had so much control yeah. in this album. It's like, cool, well, it didn't sound believable. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. And, like... Well, that's it. That's it. But um, but I'm really happy because as the albums are going on, we are actually like, yeah. you know, brightening up a bit. and like enjoying the songs a bit more and i think we said like i said on uh, your video like what we even said in the first two albums was never against britney ever it was always just about like what was going on in her life what was around her what was really her how do we really know Mm. like it was always really out of like caring for britney and i Um, think you know with her putting um Baby, one more time. How she did? How I sent you that thing that she's recorded. I was just about to mention that. The caption literally says, like, it literally says she wanted to redo it. She wanted to re-release it. She wanted to, you know, have the swear. So, and she was told no. She was locked. I'm like, so really, I think, regardless of if it was happening back then, it's like there was a huge part of her career where she didn't have a lot of control. So, I think the things that we said were accurate, correct, and fair in what we said. Yeah. So, like, just to um make make it more obvious ben sent me an instagram post of what britney had said recently she was singing hit me baby one more time in a way that maybe she liked it Mm. and and then the post was basically saying yeah like what you just said like she wished it was done a bit differently but they she just constantly got met with no's Mm -hmm. or like she wanted to make like a redo of it or something yeah i can't remember that was it and um so what we were saying on that reaction was like definitely not untrue mm. like I so I, I a lot of glad female, you said that. yeah a lot of female artists who are young who are, and they've come out now like in their late 20s late 30s and they go I wish I knew what I knew now like yeah. going into a contract at 16 17 like I don't know and most of the most of the contracts back then were like five-year contracts you know even Hillary mm. Duff has come out you know mm. so while they may feel in control or like happy that they you know becoming celeb making money there's still so many underlying issues that happen because of these contracts because of the fame they got so yeah while she may have felt into control i think if she was to look back now on her early days she probably i don't know if she'd feel the same oh absolutely and like do you know what's funny like um the other day i was doing a reaction um and at the start i was just talking about like why you should become a patron and stuff like that and i was saying like to me this job is like the best job i could have Mm -hmm. because if someone offered me would you want to sing and tour around the world i feel like I'd rather do this than that because actually, even though I love singing, I don't know if I would actually like to be famous. Yeah. You know what I mean? For singing, yeah. because like I it doesn't matter who you think you are, if you've never been given a contract or ever mm-hmm. been, you know, hey, we're gonna record an album for you, I will be naive. I just rec- I just will be naive. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter if I'm 27, but I still will be. I know I don't know anything yeah. about that. And I'd have to find like lawyers who could explain it to me and do all these things. But if you're someone who's not got a lot of money and you get yeah. picked up as an artist, you're very vulnerable. Yeah, and they so want like, you to be. They want to, they want exactly. they want to, they want you to be so enticed that you do sign on. And then you know, I yeah. mean, Halsey's coming out that she can't release music, and she's what four albums in. She sold a, over a hundred million albums, and her label's going until you go viral on TikTok. You know, it's like it still happens today. So it's like this stuff was absolutely exactly. happening in a far worse situation yeah. when it wasn't social media to let us know exactly, exactly. So like, yeah, I think that stuff really scares me, and mm. I'm 
not you know i've never even f- seen something you know i've never been yeah. faced with hey do you want to join <laughs> this record deal whatever but i know what it feels like i've been in a band in in many bands with like males like mm-hmm. all males and i've felt even in that uncomfortable yeah right just like i don't like this there's like i need my girls around me really yeah. like because it can be derogatory or yeah. you know I, I get ignored i'm just the singer you yeah. know it's like so even that's uncomfortable so when i imagine like producers as well and like oh you know it all coming together like that that's kind of like I don't even think I'd like that environment I mean if I was to do anything I would like to produce everything myself I would like to have people help me like in a sense like I'm the boss but they're not like a big label I'd want everything to be independent yeah yeah so it is interesting when you think about it but um all together the album was good yeah uh, apart from a few songs really wasn't it yeah I'd say so Cool. Well, I uh, <laughs> hope that like you guys enjoyed. And thank you so much, Ben, uh, for joining me once again. Yes. I honestly love doing videos with you. It, uh, it just brings a new little bit of spice. <laughs> you, spice know? You, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Because we're always doing it on our own. And then like yeah. when we get to join forces, it's like, oh, well, spicy. Yeah. Multiverses <laughs> coming together literally and it feels great so yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll do like a proper close out but um yeah bye, bye.